Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another MLB news video. In this video, we have a couple stories to talk about, but they're pretty big stories, starting off with the president for Seattle. He had a lot to say about his team and some of his prospects. He openly said all of this on a Zoom call for Rotary Club. And before he was even asked a single question, he made fun of some of his rookie prospects. He openly said that he was going to toy with some of the service times. He said something about Kyle Seeger, but I'm going to get into all of that right now. So he even said about two of his top prospects in his farm system. He mocked one of them for not knowing enough English. And the other one, he openly said that he was going to toy with his service time. That's happened to players before like Chris Bryant and Gleyber Torres, other players like that. It's just when um, the team basically gets them for an extra year and they don't have to pay them as much. So it benefits the team a lot. And that happens a lot, but it's never really said openly. So that was sort of strange um, and rude of him. But then he went on to talk about Kyle Seeger, who has a team option at the end of this year, and he said that he is overpaid and they're not going to pick it up, which is extremely strange that he said that openly. But um, Kyle Seeger caught wind of that, and his wife actually tweeted, I guess we should put our house on the market. But that was unexpected, and this is all before a question was even asked of him. And he had some other stuff to say. Apparently, he overheard some of his prospects at spring training talking about getting long-term contracts for very cheap. And he said that he was going to, you know, basically take advantage of all these young prospects for very cheap and extend them long-term, like 10, 6 to 10 years, So, and he wouldn't have to pay a lot for them. He even said about the, the team's financial situation that the team... Or the business, MLB itself, lost like $3 billion last year. He said that they didn't lose as much as other teams because their payroll was very low. There's some teams that take pride in having a low payroll, but not many of them really make it publicly that they're that proud. And then he went on to say, he went on to talk about their TV deal. And he basically said that the TV deal is a lot more than what the team is producing for the TV deal. So he said... Uh, basically, like they were basically scamming the TV company and all that stuff, which that would obviously make future negotiations really strange. So he was just going after everyone, saying that his prospects didn't know enough English. He wanted to toy with their um, time in the majors. He called Kyle Seeger an overpaid player. He did call him a leader, though, but an overpaid leader. And he wouldn't be picking up his club option next year. He said that the TV deal pays the Mariners more than that they're worth. And he bragged about having one of the lowest payrolls. So a lot of stuff going on in Seattle. He has resigned from his position, but he is still co-owner of the team. So he's still going to be around, just not on TV as much. So that's pretty interesting. Let me know what you think about all those stories. There's probably going to be more that comes out as the days go on. But let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Going on to our second story. Why is my thing not switching? Here, let me just switch it right here. We have Carlos Correa. He has given the Houston Astros a deadline to give him a contract extension April 1st. So when the season starts, Correa said that he does not want any more negotiations. And if he goes into the offseason, he's going to go in as a free agent and explore other options. So he wants the Astros. He, want, he said he does want to stay in Houston, but he said he wants the team to give him an extension offer before the season starts or else he's going to test the free agent waters. Doesn't mean he's going to leave, but it means that he's probably going to get offers from other places and some offers might be more attracting than Houston's offer so he might end up going somewhere else. Houston I think needs him obviously he was involved in the whole cheating scandal but he didn't have to cheat he's a very good player without cheating but you know there's the stigma that comes with it so is he worth the amount of money that he wants apparently he's looking upwards to 250 million dollars I don't know if Houston would necessarily go that high with the other names on the market. They might be able to get someone else. Lindor, Seager, Correa, Story, Simeon, Simmons all go on the market next year. Um, there might be some other names if I'm forgetting one. But uh, there's a lot of other options for Houston. And Correa wants to stay in Houston, but he wants the bag. So there's definitely a lot of things that are going to happen between now and then. So let me know what you think about that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, we post fast baseball news and other MLB news videos like this. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.